You know what's funny? In over 12 years of working for small and medium businesses, providing regular Google Analytics and Search Console reporting on a monthly basis, I've had less than a handful who have ever even asked a question about what their report shows. Of the few who have asked, they invariably get lost in an obsession with ranking number one in Google searches. And invariably, they have wanted to rank for a knee-buckling array of the short tail and long tail keywords, with their only question being some variation of, why don't I rank number one for X? So over the past year, I've started shifting conversations with both current and new clients, as well as startups I'm advising, away from traditional SEO conversations to sessions where we talk about behaviors that contribute to a healthy organic footprint instead. Because the bottom line is that almost nobody who runs a business really cares about their SEO. What they care about is driving their website the right traffic that brings the right visitors who are doing things they want them to do while they're on the site. Marketers, founders, and business owners care that they're getting valuable eyeballs to their website and that their site visitors are doing things like buying, contacting, submitting leads, downloading white papers, etc. that grow their business. Okay then, so what are a few SEO behaviors you, you can work on developing? Here's just three things you can do starting today to get started. Number one, write to be understood. When you're writing headlines on your site, write so the headline clearly explains what you're talking about. Use words people might use when searching for your product or service. Write simply and succinctly. You can always be cute elsewhere, but you want to make use of your headlines to summarize what your page is about quickly. The SEO benefit, search engines understand what your headlines are about and how they should rank your page for that subject to send more visitors your way. Number two, create content. That means write, take pictures, shoot videos, and tell as many stories in as many ways as you can think of. You're providing information to your site visitors about every aspect of what you're presenting with them, or uh, presenting them with. So talk about it in many different ways, right? The byproduct is that all that content gets digested in search engines um, and brings visitors to your site in many different ways. And then finally, after you create, share all that juicy content on social media. Uh, write a little uh, summary that fe features a couple of those same words you used in your headline and opening content, and then include a link to your page in your post as well. So there you go, right? Three simple things. Stop thinking in terms of SEO, where you rank for indiv individual terms and phrases, and start thinking about doing the things that contribute to a healthy and growing online footprint. You can let your webmaster or web developer worry about the vast array of technical components that combine to establish a solid SEO foundation. Your job is to tell your story clearly, powerfully, and in as many ways as possible. A byproduct of all that activity will be a growing and improving organic search ranking profile. And one last thing, have fun with it along the way. Right? It's your business. Talk about it. Get people excited about it um, and tell your story in a, in a way that uh, invites people to have fun with you. All right.